Hello and welcome to 6 Minutes. I'm Gemma Collins. The Federal Government has announced changes to vaccination incentives for parents. From July next year, families will be eligible for three payments of $726, but only if their child is fully immunised at 1, 2 and 5 years old. So what will these new incentives mean for GPs? We spoke to Professor Peter McIntyre, Director of the National Centre for Immunisation Research and Surveillance of Vaccine Preventable Diseases, to find out more about it. Well, I guess there's probably a range of, uh, of practical changes. Um, one of them will be that there may well be more people coming through the door who require documentation of one kind or another to be eligible for the payments, or it might also involve parents who you know, wish to be signed up as conscientious objectors either to all vaccines, and I think that hasn't changed, or to some vaccines. And, you know, there do seem to be perhaps a few more parents around who are doing this kind of cherry picking thing where they'll have some vaccines but not others. And I think that's the group where there's a particularly important opportunity for GPs to give really positive education. And the GP may be able to relatively quickly ascertain just what it is that the parent's concerned about and may be able to address that concern. Now, the penalty, um, which is not really a punishment, it's just the need to come in and see your GP if you are not willing to have that vaccine in order to be eligible for payment um, or to ensure your child is immunised, that, um, that that incentive has really you know, that push to get you along to the GP to do that has really been increased. Another thing that GPs will have to be, you know, even more familiar with than they already are is what to do for catch-up. You know, so if a child has missed one or more vaccines, how you catch that up at different ages. All these immunisations, I get meningococcal C, pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, varicella, have all been available um, for some time. It's just that they haven't been necessary to qualify for payments in the past and that the kind of payments that they qualify you for have changed. It's not costing anymore. Uh, all it's doing is saying, this is money that you are currently getting. However, we now require you to do this extra thing in order to continue to be eligible for it. So, so it's not costing more. Um, it's just shifting the emphasis. Uh, and I guess one thing that will impact on GPs is this, that this may result in more people coming through the door as I said, either needing their documentation upgraded, uh, needing immunisations given, which I think we all agree is good, um, but sometimes that will mean more explanation time for GPs. But I'm sure we'll hear more about whether vaccination rates do improve once the new incentives are introduced next July. I'm Gemma Collins. See you next week.